Chicago. Hey everybody, Guiding Halo here. I just want to let you know that down below if you're going to purchase a personal reading, business coaching, all that sort of stuff, and you have Bitcoin, you will now find a link or something where you can send me Bitcoin. So I'm allowing that as payment as well. That is a cool thing. Also, I want to let you know that Friday, uh, tomorrow evening at 7... Mountain Time Canada. I gotta think of what my time zone is. <laughs> At 7 Mountain Time Canada, I will be going live for You Pay We Play, just for fun, just because you know I can. And then on um, Sunday, I believe it is, we are doing uh, another thing with Sarah of Seven Sacred Sisters. Go check her out. She's great. All right, um, just want to let, let you, blah, 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 I can't even talk. Seriously, what is with today? My mouth is like rambling and I can't even get the words out. Someone might really be in that energy, by the way. I've had a lot of uh, people's loved ones around me lately, so I suspect that's going to come out in the in the You Pay We Play as well. Should be interesting. Yeah, sure should. Anyways, I hope to see you guys there and uh, enjoy your weekend energies and I hope to see you tomorrow night. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Hello my Capricorn friends, Guiding Halo here with your weekend energies. Let's find out what's coming in for all y'all, shall we? Let's find out what's coming in for all y'all, my Capricorns. What beauty are you creating? We just stepped into a new Pluto cycle. So whatever you've been dealing with in the depths of the shadow world, <laughs> hopefully that will change up for you guys. Let's see what's coming in. Oh, wow, I got four cards. You're the first sign who needed four cards, did you? All right, so we have an emperor. We have the four of cups. We have the nine of pentacles. And we have the hermit. Huh. For my Capricorn friends. So, I'm going to take the first two cards, okay? So, the... the Emperor energy in this deck is about being grounded. It's about being a little bit uh, trepidatious, uh, tre having some trepidation. If you look at the look on his eyes, like, yeah, I see what you're doing over there. I don't know about you. I don't know. There's something with that energy that's a missed opportunity or you may want to say no to. Someone coming in that could be Aries, Scorpio. For me as a reader, Judge Boss, CEO, um, how do we say? It's about taking control. There's something about taking control here. Someone giving you an opportunity. It's almost like to smooth something over or... or Nope, sorry, that's the same old shit. I don't buy it. That's what I'm getting, but it's coming up as an opportunity or a missed opportunity with somebody or someone who's somehow got it going on. Oh, I see. This person here has lack of belief and understanding about what this means for somebody else. That's what I'm getting. So if this is your energy of, say, you make money in a different way, you're... Uh, talented smart you you have the ability and the resources to make really whatever it is you desire come true and I think there's something coming on um, uh, up for you um, in this way I want to say that there very well could be if it's a boss or a relationship type so whatever it resonates for you but is something about someone wanting to take control of a situation and the divine bringing in a new opportunity and them saying no to it because there's a little bit of 
disbelief that this could even happen or that this could even be to a certain extent. But that being said, I believe this could also be someone meeting, this could be your energy, someone meeting you halfway. Okay, we have this energy here and we have this energy here and in the middle, it's an opportunity. The divine's asking you, are you going to meet someone halfway? Are you going to? Because there's an opportunity here to make something change up for yourself, to make something change up for others. And it's stepping into an energy, I would say, of taking control, yes, but there's this, why am I getting, there's this old saying of keep your friends closer, but close, but keep your enemies closer. It's kind of like, I don't want to to move forward in a way that is not going to be behooving to me. I've given you an opportunity. Someone might be afraid of missing an opportunity financially if they don't agree with somebody else. It's almost like I'm hearing this is a ceasefire. This is a ce ceasefire. Okay, so we have the opportunity here. It's saying no to and two people in their separate corners. It's like, uh, let's have a ceasefire. Let's go into hermit mode and decide what it is we're going to, to do moving forward. I think somebody here may have had a change of heart in a circumstance or situation. Sorry about that. My hair is bugging me. And in this circumstance and situation, uh, it's kind of like, fine, I'll go about it on my own then. If, if you want to have a change of heart or you want to do what you want to do, I'll go about it on my own. It's either you or them. But there's three people here involved. And it's almost like everybody is going to their separate corners until a different way can be figured out as the way to head forward. So I believe the message coming in for you right now is to be in a state of we'll see. I don't need to have the answers about everything that's going to happen tomorrow or the next day or the day after that. Let's just take a wait and see. Because this is beautiful. Look what's coming for you. Absolute celebration. This could be almost a ceasefire over property fight, um, family money fight. Something happening this weekend where there's a pause in action. But if you want the celebration, it's very possible if it's been going on, this ceasefire and this bit of a pause here in the action for a little bit. Because there's definitely people disagreeing, I want to say. In order to... And perhaps in the in the ceasefire and people going to their own corners to think about things. Perhaps there will be an invitation to come out and have a little bit of a time together or a celebration or a, I don't know, something. An invitation to a party, perhaps. An invitation to bring something together that can yield celebration. So if you're waiting for that invite this weekend and you've all been in your separate corners, I'm gonna say that invite most likely is gonna come through. I wonder if someone's gonna accept it. Is there a little bit of pride and ego going on here? Would someone accept it? Or would it be too much for everybody else to have that person around? That's interesting. Isn't that interesting? It is. I do sense that there's a lot of familial pull here. It's like leaving Capricorn energy, moving into Aquarius energy, where we got to use our mind for the inventive and move from our heart space. I think if there's trepidation, it's due to fear of not mattering enough, fear to being left out of family legacy, fear to being not having enough financially, opportunities being given to people that you don't agree with. But there's a sly person, someone's being very sly here about what they're doing. And there could be another person who's incredibly wise to that. And even though they're wise to it, how much do you want to bet? How much do you want to bet that they put their heart on a big old silver platter, even though they have cold feet, and they walk into that scenario anyway? If they're invited, you see the beauty that can come when you're, you lead from the heart instead of from fear 
or mistrust or judgment. The beauty that can come is absolutely epic. I love you guys. I hope this resonates. I'll talk to you again soon.